Milk's USP is probably that we were the first company to do long form episodic television. This was before the streamers, so we had to jump on tuning our pipeline to meet that type of work requirement. So it's commercial speed in terms of delivery schedules, but it's a film pipeline in terms of efficiency. My name is Steve McPherson. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Milk Visual Effects. Milk Visual Effects is a company that was born around 2013. It spun out of a company called The Mill, which is a very successful commercials company in London. It was a little bit of a gamble, and it gave an opportunity to some really creative people to start a new company and tackle a new market segment. The way technology is implemented right now, there's so many opportunities for us to grow our capacity and our capabilities. I'm Jorge Oliva, Com Supervisor in Milk, and also I'm helping out building Milk Barcelona here in Spain at the moment. We need to deliver high-end images and they need to look nice and also they need to look correct in terms of color, in terms of contrast. That's why we need like very specific equipment that help us deliver the vision of the director. But I want to know that what I see in the screen with these monitors is exactly the same thing that my colleagues in London are looking at. With the spatial resolution of the ASUS ProArt PA32DC, it's amazing, that's our review station. First off, the calibration is great, and it gives us really big, deep depth, which means that we know what the client is gonna be seeing is what the artists are seeing down here, and that's key. First of all, it covers 99% of the P3 emote. That's important for us because we work with images with a lot of latitude. Actually, your color pipeline works around ACs. We need something with a really, really wide color gamut, like these monitors. The OLED display is really helpful because of the contrast ratio that it has. One million to one is super important for us to see black levels and white levels being displayed uh, accurately and correctly. And the fact that it's 10 bit depth and 0.1 milliseconds response, that's super helpful as well when you have like really fast moving images, loads of motion blur and flashy images. It, it gives like a very, very accurate uh, color representation. Depending on color conditions, what you have your display, it adapts and it's always gonna give you white and a black level that is accurate. The reason why I use the hood is because it helps out with external reflections. What it gives us for the artists is it gives all of our artists access to UHD, which most of our work is. In London, we've got under evaluation the PA248 CRV. That's got 97% DCI P3 color space plus 100% sRGB. It's also an HDR 4K monitor. These monitors come with a lot of features. They come with USB-C, USB 3.0, HDMI, and also the menu is really, really user-friendly. A key thing is the price point allowed us to roll these out across Europe. Working with ASUS has been great. They've been really supportive. Um, we're on really tight schedules, and we needed to make things move, and they did. Considering the time zone differences and some of the communications, they were great. For me, it's a great time to be a CTO.